Welcome to another episode of Nerds with Badges, and I'm doing another in my series of videos about my Kickstarter campaign for my comic book, Dragon Mix. This is day 23, and I had hoped to do something different today, but um, trying to schedule everyone just was not really successful, so I'm going to hold off for the my be my second attempt at doing a Zoom uh, meeting with everybody that's involved in the project. Uh, the last time I tried to do a Zoom meeting, I didn't get any audio for some reason, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, I'm trying to get used to this Chromebook here, uh, this Asus Chromebook. So when you record, uh, when you do screen recording, which is what I did, you have to make sure that you turn your mic on to get your audio, which I didn't do. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, I started production on my Dragon Manx comic book whew, right around the time when COVID started, I think around uh, sometime in 2020, I think. I was really kind of like in a weird place creatively with everything that was going on in the world. And I couldn't really do any filmmaking at that time because as you know, a lot of stuff shut down. So I started doing a lot of artwork. I started having people do artwork for me. I don't draw anymore. I used to draw all the time, trying to get back into it. But uh, yeah, I used to draw all the time when I was a youngin. That was many moons ago. So I want to get back into drawing. I've got this tablet at work. It's been in my locker, literally been in my sitting in my locker for years. I was really excited when I bought it. And it's uh, one of these big, drawing tablets stayed the art expensive and i i used it for a few months and i don't know what happened it just sitting in my locker so i want to break it out i need to get me another another small laptop for it though because the laptop that i was using that i've been using with it has like no storage space left on it i thought 32 gigs was was enough for a laptop, but it is not enough for a Windows laptop. Maybe for a Chromebook, maybe, but for definitely not for a Windows or PC, especially when Windows itself takes up about 30 gigs. I didn't know that at the time. So I would like to have a dedicated computer to use with that, with that uh, tablet, drawing tablet. And there's a lot of really cool programs out there to help you get into doing manga, uh, anime type stuff. I don't have to hire other people to do all my stuff for me, which would be really good. So, yeah, I want to get back into drawing. But like I said, in, when the COVID started, I wasn't really doing any film work. So I started doing a lot of comic book, uh, having people do comic book art for me. And uh, I think I what really really uh, opened the floodgates for me because I had people doing artwork for me before, but I backed the project on Kickstarter, which is like I'm kind of come full circle, I guess, because I'm doing a Kickstarter. But anyway, they were doing a comic book about a prison and uh, for supervillains, and I thought it was such a unique concept. I gave them like $90, and as a, as a incentive, I had a character that I created featured on an alternate cover. And at some point I said to myself, why don't I hire these guys to do some artwork for me? Because these guys do like phenomenal, phenomenal artwork. Uh, I do with those comic books. Uh, but anyway, uh, put them somewhere and I forgot where I put them at. I was gonna show them some of the work that they did. These guys did the phenomenal work. So I, I had them do some, uh, start working for me on some comic book projects so total i probably have i'm probably sitting on about <clears throat> excuse me at least 10 books um, many are completed so like i said at least there may be more that i forgot about because sometimes i in the past i've started on projects and then moved on to other projects for whatever reason Maybe I got creatively stunted, or maybe um, I just 
didn't feel that it was the right time to bring that out. But I've got I'm I'm sitting on a bunch of books right now that are just really re- they're they're done they're completed but they're just not quite ready for publication. So it's just not as simple as doing a comic book and putting it out. So I want to go back and maybe polish up some of the artwork. Then I got to figure out how I'm going to package it, how I'm going to distribute it. You know, there's different ways you can distribute stuff. It's a lot easier now than it was maybe 20, 30 years ago because you have the internet. But I hired these guys to do some more artwork for me. And so uh, this is my my actual first chance to do my own like full comic book because before it was artwork for comic books that I planned on coming out but this was a re- really unique idea because I started on my Dragon Manx novel years ago and then I decided I, I would do a comic book of that so I had them st- uh, start working on the Dragon Manx the artwork because I said, well, why don't I do this as a comic book? So they were doing artwork for me gradually over years. So now, flash forward to the year 2023, and we've got a lot of artwork. So I've had them working on multiple comic books. But Dragon Manx is really important because it is me bringing my connected universe really out in the open. I think Dragon Manx is, would be like Kind of like the Wolverine character was in X Men in the X Men movie, how he was, you know, you really got you got your exposure to the X Men universe from Wolverine. You know, you got to see from his point of view as he comes into this school and he meets all these people with powers and stuff. So I think that was good that they did that. We have a character that the everyman can relate to. So Wolverine is there at the school and through his eyes and his experience, you get to see the whole X-Men universe. So Dragon Manx is like that kind of character. Dragon Manx exists in this whole world. He becomes a part of. But this is a not really an origin type of situation. I mean, we will get an origin eventually. It should be a lot easier to do it to do that in comic book form than doing it in live action. Because Dragon Manx has a really kind of crazy, uh, complex origin story. This is a guy who lived in Egyptian time period and was placed in suspended animation. And now he's in this time. So there's a lot of different stories that I could even go back and tell in animation form or comic book form without having to worry about filming, you know, finding actors and locations and, you know, having... Because, I mean, it would be really expensive to do that as a live action. But Dragon Manx is at a point in his life where he's kind of coming out of retirement, really. So he's, you know, familiar with a lot of this stuff, a lot of supernatural stuff. But I think it's a good part of, I mean, I think it's a good um, stage to be introduced to this character because he's, even though he's been around for a long time, a lot of things are new to him. And he's taken on a role as a mentor, which is something that he kind of reluctantly does. And uh, I think that would be interesting. And seeing him rediscover his powers, how to use them, because his powers are starting to change. Because, well, Dragon Manx's powers are rebooting themselves. It's, it's thought that he was losing his powers or something, but it was they actually figures out that his powers are changing because of some great challenge that he's about to face. So I definitely have a beginning and an end for this character in mind. So I look forward to bringing you along on that journey as I rediscover the character. And my battery is about rediscover things about the character and his story arc. My battery on my, my Chromebook is about to give out. It is actually plugged into my PlayStation 5. And uh, it's apparently not really enough power to keep recording. But I just want to make a quick video for today to keep it up. Because I've been doing videos every day now. So I'm going to end this video. But please, 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 we are a few days away 
from the campaign and I definitely need to get all the support that I can because we've come too far, too far. I mean, we're really close. We're $200 away from my goal of $2,000. So please, if you're watching the video, give whatever you can. doesn't matter whether it's $5, $10. But we have, now we've got like nine, eight or nine days for the rest of this campaign. So again, thank you for your time. And I am going to get out of here before my Chromebook battery goes out.